Hey, hi folks. Welcome to Testing Hacks. In today's video, we have Pratik along with us. So today we'll be having an experience, uh, you know, session where we will be discussing about how was Pratik's experience uh, whenever he joined uh, software testing domain because he is from the mechanical background. So let's welcome Pratik. Welcome, Pratik. Yeah, hi. Yeah. Yeah. So could you please uh, brief about yourself? Yeah, so myself, Pratik, I am from mechanical background and I have completed my graduation in 2019. And after completion of my graduation, I have uh, moved into IT domain and a QA domain. So I have undergone uh, different training programs as well. So yeah, so that's pretty much about myself short. Okay. Okay, so but uh, even though you are from mechanical background, how why did you feel to join software testing? Yeah, so I have seen that the world pretty much uh, revolves around software nowadays, and uh, everywhere uh, I can see uh, softwares then uh, digital uh, like India is digital nowadays. So everywhere it is uh, important, and so that is the main reason have uh, chosen to move into that field basically but how did you get to know that there is something called software testing how did you get to know that yes so basically uh, I, I was having no idea about this ua role initially so how i came to know about this is uh, uh, my friend told me about this uh, that there is something known as software testing and since i am from mechanical background i didn't have that much a strong uh, grasp on the coding. So that's why I have chosen uh, the QA role. So mm -hmm. I wanted to move into QA role first. So that is the main uh, reason for uh, moving into QA role. Okay, great. So uh, did you get into some of the trainings or how? How actually you started your software testing journey? Yes. So actually there are different training uh, institutions all around. So, so fortunately, I came across one of the training institutions. So, yeah, so they were pretty good uh, in uh, providing the training. So, yeah, that's what. And whenever I see your profile, right, it is like most of uh, your skill set is into automation testing. So, how did okay. that happen? You completely, you did not work on manual testing at all for how? Uh, no, like previously, I was not having any automation experience uh, during my initial uh, career journey days. So after uh, one year, 1.5 year, right? So I have seen that the market is uh, pretty much uh, moving into auto automation uh, domain and people are like uh, choosing that automation path. And also it is like a very much uh, good skill to have actually alongside manual testing. So that's why I have tried to explore this automation testing. And uh, yeah, I have gained some amount of skills. Yeah. So could you please uh, brief about what all technologies that you have worked on till now? Yes. So primarily, my experience uh, lies mostly on Selenium, then TestNG, then uh, Git, GitHub, then Gradle, then Maven, then Jenkins, uh, then yeah, then uh, like frameworks. I have also worked on frameworks. Frameworks in the sense like uh, page object model and all these uh, technologies. Yeah, that's great actually because you just have one uh, around uh, one one and a half years of experience, right? With that experience, you have gained good amount of knowledge actually. Okay. Yeah. So how, how do you feel now? Uh, you are into software testing, right? So how do you feel? Um, why you, since you didn't choose your core field, how are you feeling it right now here? Yeah, it is very good actually. Like I don't have any regret that I didn't move into a mechanical domain. So it's a pretty good uh, field and domain. So people in this domain are like uh, helpful then also working in IT companies, uh, pretty much uh, good, for, uh, according to my opinion. So yeah, I'm feeling very good. 
yeah it's a learning journey yeah, yeah because uh, what happens is most of the people even though they are from different uh, you know not it background even though before trying itself they'll you know they don't push themselves to get uh, till the point that they get the job uh, and you have done that actually so that's really great sometimes and also you have got during the covid period of time right you have got job during covid right yes correct yeah that is yeah. correct because, yeah yeah because nowadays uh, people uh, you know they're not able to get the job because of uh, kind of recession not uh, now it is better but a few days yes. back it was the market was really hit hard and people were not getting any kind of job opportunity and openings now it is better right okay so yeah so what all companies you have worked in yeah so previously i i got the chance to work with amazon so there i have worked for one year and after that i have joined one startup so currently i am there working there great great yeah, yeah. there was some gap uh, in between for me uh, so, okay ha uh ha -huh. yeah yeah so that's um, pratik's uh, talk and uh, what do you want to say to the people who are watching this video uh, with your experience from your background what what do you want to tell to the people just say something yes so, that you want to yes so there are uh, experienced people also there then there are freshers will be coming out so not everybody will be wanting to go to qa domain so some of the people might be uh, want to go into development roles so i would like to say according to my opinion that uh, qa role is also uh, pretty much good to explore and it's not like that qa don't have any coding uh, it's like they need to do some coding due to for automating and uh, just uh, keep on learning and upskilling like uh, and the most important thing is that you need to uh, do projects so without projects you won't have that experience uh, like uh the pretty much uh, good experience uh, it will not be there if there is no projects so uh, you must undergo some training programs and uh, upskill yourself but the projects uh, needs to be there uh, in your resume so that is where the experience will come into uh, value and yeah so that's what i want to say the people who want to come into qa yeah that's great um, advice actually because upskilling is one of the important factor that uh, you know we have to keep on following each day the trends changes and each day the learning curves has to also pick up for us each day it is like learning itself so that's great uh, advice actually pratik so yeah thank you pratik for joining me um, and hope this will help the people and motivate them as well to get into the software testing and hope um, you all enjoyed this video so thank you for watching and this is all for this video bye bye